So our heart behind this greenhouse was to find a creative way to get kids engaged. Um, we wanted kids to be excited to come. That's to because school. we know when kids are engaged, we know they're learning. Exactly. Yeah. And so if parents are happy, kids are happy, teachers are happy, everybody's happy. So if we can get them here with their hands dirty, doing simple math, simple science, learning um, where their food comes from, uh, where their food goes. Yeah. We figured uh, it would be a real help. So we're starting to see a peaked interest in the local community and this facility being utilized for means other than just yeah, for students. So that's exciting for us. That is a really good thing. So you've actually built a community resource here. So the kids are engaged and they're learning, but other people in the community are able to yeah, partake. Girl Scouts, churches, you know, corporations come have gardening parties. We Very cool. We want this space to be used for. So yeah. it ties in. Awesome so, space. Let's Thank be you. In the kitchen. Sounds good. Let's go cook something. So are you integrating any kind of sciencey stuff for some of the plants? I love what these guys are doing. So I, I do like uh, focus really with math in okay. here. Um, the it's really appropriate for elementary school, third, fourth, and fifth graders to be learning about first we're learning about area yeah. um, multiplication even with third graders with like the C trays and whatnot. Um, yeah. they finish up the year with fractions. So as we germinate seeds, they don't all come up, we can record data applying their their knowledge of fractions to record that. Um, the fourth and fifth graders are working more in volume and things. So when we had to fill up the seed beds here, excuse me, we had to fill up these beds, um, I had them calculate how much soil we were going to need and how much that would cost us Very and cool. how much the lumber would cost to build this design. And actually all of this design was uh, from students. It was uh, because we didn't have the greenhouse during the fall, we could walk out and see the footings and take measurements and then- and figure out what you're gonna do. Yep, and then we you know, we want to leave enough space for students if um, any student that would be in a wheelchair perhaps, yeah. and we didn't want students to reach. Them. They just worked with graph paper um, and some teams and came up with uh, design ideas and pitched them to their classes. Because well, it's a little different. You can have like a whole class if you're at once. So you have to be able to, like with all of these little cutouts, yep. you can fill each of the bays with kids and everybody can get kind of hands-on experiences that way, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I like to kind of nickname it Dirty Math. Dirty Math. Kind of literally the dirty. So. Very cool. Here he comes. Oh, she's cutting a lot. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Do you like it? You're tasty? Good. So once you start on the edge, because it's easier to get the plant, and then you just oh, you already know how to do this. You guys are experts at this. Nobody told me you were experts at this. You made the line. Is everybody gonna cut one? Okay, so cut one and then stick it in your bowl. She's holding the bowl. Oh, good job. Wait, what are we going to do? Look at all that dirt. How do you think we're going to get that off? Clean it. Oh, clean it. That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, we're filling the bowl up. Everybody's taking a turn. Very good. You guys are really good at this. So how hungry are you guys for lettuce? Scissor safety. Right, there we go. You can cut a little bit more there. Okay. So we're going to cut all this, don't we? Um, How much do we need? Where's our chef? We'll have to ask our chef. We'll cut as much as we need here. Very good. Good cutting, guys. All right. Sure, I got your bowl. I'm holding on for you. There you go. You just like kind of lift some of the leaves up and then you snip it near the bottom. Be careful with the leaves. And it comes out yep. really easy. It's even easier to cut than paper. Turtle gasket. It's huge. Yeah, we're going to wash it. No problem. There you go. I'm going to eat that. Are they allowed to taste it? Yeah, go for it. Yes. Who else wants a piece of lettuce to eat? There you go. Anybody else want a piece of lettuce? You did? Okay, yeah, get there. You there, that's okay. Everybody grab a radish and throw it in the bowl. But show it the camera, because actually everybody wants to see what you guys are picking over there. There you go. Those are some nice looking radishes. Ooh, what's that? Hey, you guys, check out this one. It almost looks like a different kind of seed. Oh, yeah. Pop some of the dirt off that one before you stick it in there. I see those radishes. sweet. Awesome, you guys. Okay. So let's take this back to the kitchen and go cook something. Is that heavy? Oh, yeah, that is. Yeah, I can feel it. Whoa. Awesome greenhouse you guys have here. This is incredible. Did you see those kids? They were so excited picking the lettuce They're really and pulling into out the radishes, you know? Well, it's educational. It is right. You know, it's educational. They get to learn, and we, we like to use all these products that we're growing here throughout the district. Okay. So we have a program called Taste It Tuesday, 
uh, every Taste It Tuesday. Every Sounds fun. Time. It's awesome, and the kids have really... New hashtag, Taste It Tuesday. Taste It Tuesday. So we take, like last Tuesday in Samberton, we picked some vegetables, we bought some avocado, and okay. we mixed it, and we have a whole informational sheet on the products that we're using, right? and the teachers will read off in class all about what we're doing. So, so you bring it into the classroom, oh, the, or they just come when they get no, in the classroom? No, the classroom, each classroom has dropped off a fresh fruit or vegetable. Okay. And we drop them off, but not just, we education meets product. Right. So the teachers are educating about the product, and the kids actually ask, when is Taste of Tuesday? Well, it's next Tuesday. So are they pretty good? Because sometimes, especially in elementary school, kids can be a little finicky about what they eat. Yeah. They're, willing, they're all they in and they're try. willing to taste it? Okay. Well, you know how it is. Monkeys, you got to try it. You got to try a little bit. Right. Yeah. Right. So we, we've done jicama. We've wow. done star fruit. We want to educate the kids. Yeah, and different things that are out there. Mm -hmm. What a great idea. Yeah. So now, do you have other programs like this around the district? Is there other greenhouses? Well, there? we do have an ag center okay. at the high school that great. we're utilizing. Okay. And next year, we have some new things going on at the middle school. Very cool. So each school will work on having something that's great. This is awesome. This yeah, is a this great is opportunity awesome. for the kids. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. You guys got a ton of tomato plants. Yeah, that was... Are you going to sell them? So I don't think if you grow this many, can you? to send them home. Every child send getting somebody to them home. That would be awesome. Yeah. So they were they were all started by the third graders, and that was part of their um, part of their German project. So they had these six cell packs here. Yeah. And that was okay. So they did the fractions. Yeah. Yeah. So they got two out of six. Yeah. Um, exactly. One student, Audrey. Okay, so Audrey got two out of six. And she got two out of six. Exactly. This is really a great great it's spot. Fun. Yes. yes. Um, no. Yes, it is a great opportunity. Um, hey, question, well, can I ask you a question? Are you familiar with um, yeah. the bio 